my name is uh, Richard Smith, and I was born in uh, 1930. How I really got interested in, in chords was when I was uh, about four years old. My folks were living in an apartment in downtown Traverse City. And I was looking out the back window and then it snowed during the day and uh, it's about three or four inch snow on the ground when the car went to back away from the curb, the front wheels were spinning. And I hollered at my dad, 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 come here, come here. And he explained to me that the car was uh, uh, front wheel drive and uh, from that day on I've been hooked on front wheel drive cars. In 1967 there was one for sale. When I looked at it I thought well no way I can restore this car in such such bad shape. The car was all disassembled, the front end of it, the hood and the fenders and the complete front axle was gone with the four elliptical springs. So that was a long road of restoration uh, uh, to give you an idea of who the parts that were missing when I got the car. I didn't have a distributor, I didn't have a carburetor. The valve guide uh, vent pipe was missing. Uh, crank uh, shaft, or crankcase breather cap, luggage rack and hardware that was completely gone. The front seat cushion. Kids had shot all the windows out including the, the glass and all the instruments. But I was, I was able to salvage all the instruments fortunately. And I used uh, different uh, uh, bottles for different radius and uh, and I was able to cut cut the glass and make new lenses out of out of bottles. That's how I replaced the lenses there. Well, as sim simple as it looks, this piece right here is probably my most challenging. <clears throat> I couldn't figure out how to make these cutouts in here. This is all wood, by the way. And, uh, and there's a little groove on the side here where this piece snaps into. And that just drove me crazy trying to figure out a lot of stuff you can cut out with a router and a bandsaw. But I couldn't figure out how to put that groove in there. And I just... So finally I just threw it on the back of the bench and went on doing other things. And one night laying in bed I thought, shoot, I'm making a big project out of this. All I got to do is make it in three pieces. Make all the cutouts take my router and cut that in and glue it back together and put some dowel pins in it. It was so simple after I figured it out, but it worked good. <laughs>